are actually on our last day of our carnival cruise and uh, we had planned on taking videos of uh, doing dialysis on the cruise ship and we haven't done that because we've been having too much fun on vacation but so I figured I'd take a little video of our last day so this is Mike Hi, and guys. I'm Laura and um, this was uh, he might just started um, dialysis in July and we just started training for our home hemo in January so we went through our classes quickly and got home we've only been doing it at home for a couple weeks before we went on vacation but we were determined we weren't gonna let this stop us continue to take our vacation so I just take, thought I'd take a little video just to show you how we've got our room set up um, it was really nice next stage delivered all of our supplies to the pool well, not all the supplies but the dialysate and the cartridges to the room and it was actually already in our room when we got here they had it all stacked that we were in our last day so we've got some left um they sent extra so we didn't have to worry about that um so that's what we have left and then we made ourselves a little table using a few boxes and um we've got the machine set up where you use this is the case that they give you to travel with travel went pretty smoothly um, we, we, we flew on Spirit Airline and they didn't give us any trouble. It's about 100 pounds between the machine and the, and the case, but they didn't give us any trouble. We set it up right next to our bed. Our room is a little bit cramped because we have four people in here. This is our son and his fiance that's um, where they're staying. There's a bunk that comes out of their, the ceiling there too. Um, we have, so we have it all set up right now. Um, this is the dialysate that we use when we're on uh, traveling at home. We have a machine that, the, that the, the next stage machine sits on top of the bottom machine that makes the dialysate. But for vacation, we have these hanging bags. So we have it all ready to go. Mike's getting his arm prepped for me to, to get him hooked up. Um, this is, we have a drain line that we just run into the bathroom. It just goes right into the drain. We used the same drain line, drain line twice, so we brought extra. Um, and we can we some, you know when we're done with it, we'll throw it away. Um, they've been giving us sharps containers to put the needles in when we're done, and then they gave us some red, um, ha, you know, biohazard bags to. Even though we can really throw away the the, the cartridges and stuff, but in the bags from the dialysate we use those bags for them but it's been pretty accommodative we've found that it's worked pretty well he can dialyze whenever it's convenient like we um, sometimes we'll just do it six o'clock in the morning and be done for the day today's a C day so we had fun this morning and it's the afternoon he's gonna get this done so tonight we can have dinner and have fun so it's worked out pretty well it's been pretty flexible and we would do it again huh yes yes it's been good so i'm gonna turn around and say hi even though i was at the pool and my hair's a mess but that's okay we're having a good time and it's our last day at sea tomorrow we we um head back to florida so all right thanks guys bye okay we got them all hooked up looks pretty comfy there uh we missed a snap so the dialysis just fell up right there but that's okay um so we've got I just wanted to show you a couple of things that we did. I made these little packs up ahead of time. It's got every, pretty much everything we need for treatments and for each treatment. So I had a week's worth and then I have a, had another bag with extras in it, like, you know, just extra gauze and tape and, um, and just heparin and stuff like that. Um, we have the treatment sheets, let's take some blood pressure every half hour. And he either does it himself or sometimes he'll nap and I'll take care of the forms depending on how nice I feel. <laughs> but there's our view. It's a pretty good view. Um, Mike <coughs> did manage to catch a head cold. He's, he's felt pretty good until the last couple days he got this cold. That kind of stinks. But all in all, he's been feeling pretty good. His, Ankles have swollen a little bit, but I think that's pretty normal for vacation anyway, but it, they really haven't been too bad. Um, he's been taken off. What have you been taken off each day? 
maybe, maybe a pound and a half. Yeah. Probably yeah. average. Yeah. So. It's been or good. a kilo and a half. Yeah. It's been going pretty good. Um, it's got his treatment sheets there. Keep track of everything. And then when we're done here, since tomorrow we get off the ship, they sent us way more dialysate than we needed. There's three more. And then we've there. got, oh yeah, and there's three more there. So we're probably just going to let them drain it out. We'll just drain it out in the tub and then throw the picks away. And then we'll want to take them home. Um, we got some, I've been storing the saline and stuff. So we have a few extra bags of saline. We'll probably do that as well. We have a bunch of cartridges left, like whole case. We'll, we'll take those back with us. We're not going to throw those out, but um, but yeah, it's been going pretty well. So if anybody has any questions, um, feel free to message me and um, let you know. Everything was smooth. Yeah, it went smoothly. We were super nervous. I mean, super nervous to make sure everything got here okay, but. It really went really smoothly. We didn't have any problems at all. So hopefully it will be the same for our trip home. But we're pretty confident it will. So 